I guess we should start with the, uh, the big question, of course, which everyone is curious about. You, Shauna, are playing Richard III, which as far as we know is a historic first for the Stratford Shakespeare Festival, and it's, it's not that common elsewhere. Um, how did that come about? Over the years, I had helped, you know, I teach as well, and I'd helped young actors with their monologues, and usually a Richard III would come up, and I'd be working on it, and I'd always go, oh, these are wonderful lines, what a great part, really fascinating. And then um, Richard Manette had asked me once to be one of six Hamlets, uh, two women and four men, and I thought, well, I don't really see myself as a Hamlet, transforming myself into a virile young man. Maybe a reading, or maybe Richard III, maybe. And once I'd actually said it out loud, I started thinking, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe that. And so it's sort of been in my mind. And, and we approached Des about it a, a few years ago, and he was very intrigued and excited, but it didn't fit in uh, one season. So we're thrilled that, um, you know, Des chose to put it in this season. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I was working on it, I came across a quote that I loved. Richard is not. He just pretends to be. And th that's the essence that to, the, there is no, well, the interesting thing about Richard is there is no Richard there. There's no, you can't get to the bottom of that character. It's one layer of, of performance on another layer of performance on another layer of performance. All we've done is lay down one more layer of artifice on Richard. And Richard shares a lot of secrets with the audience. Only the audience and Richard know things that he shares with them. And I think the part of the joy of this will be under that, there will be this sense that our Richard is sharing one more secret with the audience. We're not going to say what it is, but you know and I know that I'm not what I am pretending to be. So it kind of takes the whole thing a wee bit beyond the literal. I mean, it's, it's not as if... I, you, you're referring to the character, obviously, as he, so in a sense, he, it, it is male, but you're not impersonating a man in that sense, are you? I'm not trying to be really a really, really believable male that people go, oh, that was a guy, wasn't it? I'm, that's not really my intent as much as, who, what's the core of this guy? Where is he? And, and, and I'm finding things already that are kind of frightening to me. <laughs> I mean, just the way my face sets. You know, because as women, we're often told to be pleasant or to, you know, smile, because if you're not smiling, you know, you don't look nice or pleasing to people. And so if you're listening to someone, even though you don't like what they're saying, you're supposed to be going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Richard is going, that already feels foreign to me, to go, you know, already that's, that's something that's crossing a line somewhere. So it's uh, discombobulating to me at times. Peter, can I turn to you for a moment? And, um, what, uh, what kind of physical world is this production going to take place in? It's pretty much a bare stage. And yeah. yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, there's color and there's some curtains. The mechanism that moves on the stage actually can create entrances and exits and define entrances and exits. It's basically kind of having Shakespeare's inner stage, but it's pushed forward and you can use that inner stage with a little more facility because uh, your entrances and exits are thrust forward. I think the, we've he've stripped it down to the essential elements that, that Richard III, I think, in the Tom Patterson requires. And it, there's something very, I think, very strikingly theatrical about what Pete's done with that space using a little bit of color, a little bit of proportion, some curtains. It's, it, it, just to make it sound like there's just some curtains on a bare stage, I, I find it quite a compelling use of the space. We got a play, we got Shauna, we got Pete, we got to decide where we're going to do it and how we're going to do it. And, and you know, Pete and I usually, unless there is some reason, compelling reason to do a concept we don't tend to go that way, though I have done concept productions. I thought, we have Shauna playing Richard III. If, if I wanted to say, well, I, I'm, I, I think it's important to set it in Libya or uh, African or something, it's not going to serve what we're trying to do here because when I started looking at you know, medieval silhouettes and things, right? Long hair, men are wearing 
long outfits and what you, we would practically call dresses. So it already is blurring that world between male and female. What is this play ultimately about? Is, is it a play about betrayal, or would you characterize it in some other way? My primary job before the rehearsals begin is to answer, in a sense, for myself that question so that I have something around which this whole production in this can coalesce. Uh, and there are so many, I mean, for every different production of Richard III, people can have different themes or ideas. But I was very struck by a, one of the scenes in Richard III that is always cut. And it's out in the middle of this play with all of this stuff, people flying around and coups and murders and whatever. A man is taken away and he's gonna have his head chopped off. And a guy comes on, he's got a warrant in his hands. And he just turns to the audience and he says, he says, look, I've got, I was just sent the uh, warrant for Hastings uh, arrest uh, yesterday. But yesterday Hastings was free, untainted, uncharged. Nobody said a word against him. Is there anybody out there who doesn't see this trick? But is there anybody who will say anything about it? And I thought that's Shakespeare's thing. He put that scene in there because what he's trying to say in my modern parlance is all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. And that's essentially what I'm trying to construct the play around. Everybody in the play, if they're not directly attacked by Richard, looks aside. This is fascinating. We could go on forever. <laughs> but we can't. Well, we can't. But what I know is that there, 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 there is one power that will be exerted in this production, and that is going to be the fascinating power that you're going to bring to this role. I'm sure it's just going to be fabulous, and everyone is really looking forward to it. Shauna, thank you. Miles, thank you so much. Peter, thank you so much for thank being you, part David. of this. Thanks, David. Thank you.